Hey, what's up, everybody? Bring you another review. This time, I'm gonna try to bring heat or the cold, whichever one it is. This time, I'm bringing you a review of the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Batman, which is a lot to say from the Mezco 112 Collective line. That is a whole bunch of ton to say, so I'm gonna say Ben Affleck in a bat suit from Mezco. Let's go with that. Anyway, let's get started on the review. First and foremost, I was very skeptical of this figure to begin with, regardless of how you see me as whatever. I was super skeptical of this figure. In hand, the figure is 100 times better than what I thought it was going to be. I want to put that out there right here, right now. I thought it was going to be a fat man, but I actually got a Batman. I'm really excited to get to reviewing it because um, I thought it was going to suck, and now it doesn't. So I'm very happy with this. So as I remove this hair, which came from nowhere, let's talk about the figure. First and foremost, the cape is nice. The only downfall of it is that, is that it is not wired. You can do cool things with the cape. And the reason why is because this is actually a pretty dope thing you can do. It's not every day that you can take a Batman figure and wrap the cape around without an issue. It actually folds up really well. It's not a sort of fabric material. It's more like a, I don't know. It's like a, the materials that my umbrellas are made out of, I should, I should say. It's a really weird material that I can't find the name for, but it's a soft cloth undertone with a plasticky outside. And as you can see on the backhand side, I don't know if you can tell from the lighting, but they put the little dirt at the bottom because the cape is always, you know, pretty much draping on the floor. So no matter what he does, it's picking up all sorts of stuff from outside. It actually makes a ton of sense. Now, in terms of articulation, what Batman comes with, all that good stuff, Batman suffers from what people call things, uh, I guess you would say the shoulders are sitting too low. Now, here's my thing about that. Um, if you're a wide-shouldered person like me, this is actually pretty normal for you. But I can see from where the height of the neck is and the cowl to where the shoulders are, why you would think that. But uh, this Batman is super jacked, so I don't see the issue here. I could actually see it on other figures, but not on Batman. Super duper jacked. It's double jointed. You can turn those arms all the way up. Tons of muscle. You see the mass there. The crunch can actually go not too far forward, but he can actually sit and go forward. So if they ever make vehicles for it, you know that this Batman can actually sit in a vehicle. Just at the ab crunch, you have to push forward just enough to get just a little bit out of it. You're not gonna get tons. It can go pretty far backwards though, but not forward. So that's one thing you miss out on when you compare it to the Mafex is forward ab crunch. But that doesn't mean the figure doesn't have tons of articulation. Because as you can see, I can still sit here and do some pretty cool poses. But another downfall here is that the neck peg doesn't allow you to look too far up. So you will be having some hindrances both in the direction of looking up, as you can see, and ab crunch. So certain picks are just going to have to look the way they look. Now this Batman, on the other hand, meanwhile with Captain America, lack ankle pivot. This one does not. Tons of ankle pivot in the area. So as you can see, you're pretty much covered in most areas. He can look cool just like this. It's not one of those things where he's struggling to plant his feet. He actually gets it really well. That's one thing that Captain America had an issue with. And if you give it a little physical therapy, you know, you'd get around to it. Batman doesn't fill in that case. The boots, you can actually swivel from side to side. Like I said, tons of articulation. So you can actually kick, punch, it's all in the mind. You could paw wrap it a bit. And now we're going to go a bit into accessories. Batman comes with an alternative head. The alternative head is pretty much him, like, growling and... You know, being a Ben Affleck. Cutting on my lights to test it out. But as you can see, this is open mouth. It's actually detailed really well, and it actually looks a ton like Ben Affleck. Didn't think I'd ever be able to say that on a 112 scale collective figure, basically a 6 inch figure, where I can go, hey, it really looks like Ben Affleck. So let me just actually pop this on. And voila. Now you have grunting Batman looking cool. Now in terms of accessories, the hands, it comes with, uh, I'm not gonna call them relax, but I'm gonna call them ready hands because Batman's always ready for the, you know, to give people these hands. Comes with two of those. Batman comes with a hand for holding his grapple gun, which I don't wanna call it a grapple gun. because Batman despises guns, at least he's supposed to. And it fits in there actually really, really well. It's nice, tight and snug and it holds it perfectly. Now the grapple gun comes with its own accessories where you can have it, the, the pre-launcher for the hook. You have it 
before it actually does the hook where you latch it in there and it's closed and then if you think I'm gonna unravel this you're crazy because I'm not but it has the hook where you actually do the string so if you're dedicated to that kind of work you'll see it Batman also has hands that come with batarangs already in it so it's him holding the batarangs doing cool batarang things and things like that one of the other things is that smoke grenade or flashlight whichever one you want to call it but I'm pretty sure it's a smoke grenade guaranteed by that little pin you can see right there another cool thing is that you still get three normal batarangs if you want to put anything in Batman's hands you still get three of these not one but three and the thing I didn't like most about this movie is the bat branding so it's here you can actually pop it in the hand really well if you wish to brand villains I am not a fan of this at all but does look cool in Batman's hand it looks cool when you do stuff with it and it's there I'm not a huge fan of it one thing I'm gonna show you oh the utility belt it's actually not loose but it uh, hangs on by the back you can take it off I wouldn't try it though and it looks like it seems to be that you can latch stuff on right at the back and if I am correct let me just test it out and make sure you can latch the gun right on the back if I'm doing it right Yep, you can. So now you can hide his gun right behind him. So let's leave that there for now. Real quick, I'm going to compare him to my other figures so you guys can see what's going on. Check out the height and judge for yourself. Let me fix him up, make him look nice. Here he is compared to his Mafex counterpart, which honestly looks really tiny compared to him. Now, while the Mafex has tons of articulation and a wide cape, still, costume-wise, it doesn't look as good as this one, in my opinion, but that's just me. This one is big and brooding, just like the way Ben Affleck looked. You can even see the muscles pretty much poking through the fabric of the costume. It's really nice. Here is him compared to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. So, as you can see, he is in the sentient scale. He's actually gigantic, while Spider-Man is just thin. And here's one of the things that uh, most people didn't want to, you know, this is him compared to his armor component. As you can see, this is literally him with a suit on top of it. So as you can see, it pretty much looks to, well together to me because this is him with a ton of armor. One thing I wanted to test and see how this would look was the swapping of the heads. Ah, and here's the thing that we didn't notice. The reason why you can't swap this one on is strictly because the ball joint is attached to it. Now, I wanted to do it, but that means I'm going to have to pop that out. That's tons of work. So, voila. No neck. And here it is. Look, It looks pretty well on there, but it doesn't work entirely. I tried to test it, guys. I tried. I tried. So, that's him compared to all his other counterparts. And overall, I really like the figure. Uh, I plan to take some pictures, make it look nice. Uh, sorry, I have not been taking as many pictures lately. Been dealing with some stuff. But I wanted to let you guys know I'm back for now. I'm going to try to do as many reviews as I possibly can. This is really dope. So overall, if you really enjoy the figure and you look forward to the Mezco 112 Collective line, I would say continue to go forward with these figures as they are really nice. And they will continue to make improvements. If you don't like this Batman, you can pretty much stick with your Mafex and you'll still be fine. Either way, the preference is yours. So go with the one you like more. The price point, whichever it is going to be. Do what you got to do. But in the meantime, guys... I hope you do enjoy this review, and I hope you got the most out of it. In the meantime, may your hearts be full and your wallets be totally empty. Later.